On Thursday, February 28th, the 11 seeded Hillers took on six seeded Bishop Stang in the first round of the playoffs. First period, the Hillers struck first. Off of Colin Walsh. Number, and there's a goal for the Hillers. A great feed to Hamlet. Went off to stick a Walsh over to Hamlet. And the Hillers are up one to nothing with 4.35 left to go in the first period. In the second period, the Hillers strike again. Sean Walsh feeds it over to Kyle Rogers, and Rogers feeds the net at 9.38 left in the second to put the Hillers up 2 to nothing. Third period, Steve Simos gets a good shot off, and Jake Weinstock deflects it in with a backhander, and that made the score 3 to nothing with 7.28 left in the third period. Simos with the assist, Weinstock credited with the goal. Later in the third period, the Hillers struck again. Hamlet racing in. To Sheamus now. Simos with a shot there, and that ends up in. Fourth goal of the game for the Hillers, and they take the win four to nothing. Hillers went on to the second round on Sunday, March 3rd at Gallo Arena in Bourne and battled third-seeded North Quincy. Hillers took the game 3-0. Tommy Hamblett had a goal with 4.23 left in the third period. And then Steve Simos and Sean Walsh added open net goals to secure the win. Goaltender Cole Thomas had 16 saves. Senior goalkeeper Cole Thomas has 31 saves overall in the playoffs and has given up zero goals. With the win, the Hillers advance to the South Division III sectional semifinals and will battle 10th seeded Coyle Cassidy on Thursday, March 7th, 5.30 p.m. at Gallo Arena. The winner of the semifinals game will play the winner of 9th seeded Ashland and 4th seeded Bourne on Sunday, March 10th at 3.15 p.m. at Gallo Arena and the Division III South Sectional Finals.